Alrighty trainers, Taken Adventures here and welcome to this episode of The Choice Specs. Now I'm recording on my webcam today because my main camera is down so I'm sorry for the really crappy quality here but it's the best I can do to produce this episode of The Choice Specs. Now today is a rather interesting Choice Specs episode because for the first time here on the channel we'll be speculating about a feature in Pokemon Go. I know a lot of people don't play Pokemon Go anymore and a lot of people don't consider Pokemon Go to be part of the main series games, but truth is uh, Niantic and Game Freak are trying to integrate Pokemon Go into the main timeline, but where exactly Pokemon Go fits in the Pokemon canon is a whole other video on its own which I will be getting to in the future so be on the lookout for that. But in summary, the Pokemon canon is split into two different timelines. We have the classical timeline, which is you know without Mega Evolutions, and the Mega timeline, the one with Mega Evolutions. The Mega Universe is the universe where the Carl's War happened 3,000 years before Pokemon Pokemon X and Y which resulted in Mega Evolutions being in Kalos as well as Hoenn. I know Pokemon Go does not have Mega Evolutions but judging by the fact that Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee have a really strong connection to Pokemon Go, in fact they still have the species candies like you see in Pokemon Go. For now I'm placing Pokemon Go on the same time frame as Let's Go, of course on the Mega Timeline. And for the sake of the video I'm gonna assume that Pokemon Go and Let's Go occur at roughly the same period of time so Let's Go and Pokemon go uh, almost in conjunction with each other. Alright, so now that we've got all the intro stuff out of the way, let's dive into the meat of the video which is Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon made its recent appearance in Pokemon Go, but some of you older, more hardcore fans may recognize it from XT Gale of Darkness as well as Pokemon Colosseum. They're both Gen 3 side games, they're completely separate from the mainline Pokemon canon. I'm not so sure about the exact details of Shadow Pokemon in those games, but what I can tell you is that Shadow Pokemon and Pokemon Go are left by Team Go Rocket Grunts. Now these Go Rocket Grunts are kind of like the Rocket Grunts in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. In fact, they're basically almost identical to the Team Rocket Grunts in the Kanto games. Another example would be Team Rainbow Rocket in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Their underlings are also referred to as Rocket Grunts. So either way you look at it, the Go Rocket Grunts are kind of like the underlings of the Team Rocket facility. These Team Go Rocket Grunts hang out at Pokestops and will try to pillage the items that Pokestops give to trainers and in order to access Pokestop you have to battle a Team Go Rocket Grunt in sort of that PvP style battle system. Upon defeating a Team Go Rocket Grunt you get access to a Shadow Pokemon that the Team Go Rocket Grunt has used. So for example if you battle a Team Go Rocket Grunt with a Charmander you get a chance to catch a Shadow Charmander. The Shadow Pokemon need to be purified like in XT Gale of Darkness and Colosseum. Once purified, these Pokemon will know the move Return. That's a pretty cool coverage move in certain cases. Once these Shadow Pokemon are purified, they'll automatically scale up in level to level 25 and each of their IVs will increase by two stages. So if you have a Shadow Charmander with 10 IVs in every stat, they'll increase by 2 IV points, so now they'll have an IV of 12 out of 15 in every stat. Note that if your Shadow Pokemon already has one perfect stat, i.e. a 15 IV points in one stat, it will remain at a 15 IV point. The IVs will not increase for that stat. I'll leave a link in the description detailing all of the Shadow Pokemon currently available in Pokemon Go. So what does this all have to do with Team Rocket? Now, I have a theory or rather just an idea. Basically, I theorize that Team Go Rocket are the main reason the main culprits behind Shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Go. In Colosseum as well as XT Gale of Darkness, these Shadow Pokemon are being manipulated by a team called Cypher. You can think of it like a pseudo Team Rocket in the fact that they love to catch and like basically poach Pokemon. They install a certain mind control device that turns these Pokemon evil, hence the term Shadow Pokemon. They're sort of like evil and they have their hearts closed and basically willing to attack any innocent passerby any civilian, any trainer. But my guess on the lore of these Shadow Pokemon are in Pokemon Go is that Team Go Rocket decided to mass control the minds of all these Pokemon here, turn them all evil just like what Cypher did in Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Not that Colosseum and XD are part of the Pokemon canon by any means, 
basically Team Go Rocket are controlling the hearts and minds of innocent Pokemon and turning them evil. That's why we have to purify these shadow Pokemon to know the move. Return, they're sort of like returning the favor to us. Team Go Rocket are trying to poach Pokemon and play mind games with these innocent Pokemon and it's up to us to purify and restore these Pokemon back to their normal state. The lore behind Team Go Rocket might be the fact that after playing these mind control games with innocent Pokemon in Pokemon Go and having their plans thwarted by us trainers, they of course decide to flee to Kanto and the whole Let's Go saga actually begins. Team Rocket decides to cause some trouble in the Kanto region. Giovanni sets up his Team Rocket HQ in Kanto. We come along, we as protagonists of Let's Go come along, defeat Giovanni, defeat Team Rocket, kick them out of Kanto. And then Archer decides to go on to Johto and sets up Team Rocket in Johto. And this raises an important question actually. Will we ever get to see Team Rocket in Johto in the Mega Timeline? Perhaps in Let's Go Johto, but can't personally say. Uh, I have my hopes up. Fingers crossed that we get a Let's Go Johto game where we see Archer setting up Team Rocket in Johto and Giovanni hopefully going to Johto as well, we'll see about that. And then later on in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Giovanni decides to set up Team Rainbow Rocket in Vengeance of Us, the protagonist of the Johto games, defeating him and kick kicking him out of Johto. He decides to, you know, flee all the way to Alola and yeah, basically decides to set up Team Rainbow Rocket in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And yeah, that's basically the one tie-in to uh, Alola right there. So it kind of all comes together in one fluid timeline. So in summary, the role of Team Rocket and Shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Go are number one, Team Rocket decides to mind control all these innocent Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Number two, they get thwarted by trainers in Pokemon Go. Number three, they flee all the way to Kanto and decide to set up Team Rocket there. And they get thwarted again by trainers, us the protagonists of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And then they move to Johto and they get thwarted once again by the protagonists of the supposed Let's Go Johto games. Fingers crossed about that. Giovanni then moves on to the Alola region and decides to set up Team Rainbow Rocket in Alola. He brings all the team leaders of the villainous teams along with him. Ultimately, he gets thwarted again by the protagonists of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And from there, he gets sucked into a wormhole, an ultra wormhole, and we never hear from him again. So hopefully we will get a game to bridge the gap between Let's Go Pikachu and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And hopefully we might get another game to tie up the loose ends on what happened to Giovanni after the Team Rainbow Rocket arc. So yeah, that's basically it for this theory video. I know this is pretty much all speculation, but yeah, that is basically what the Choice Books is all about. My speculations, my theories and my humble opinions about the features in the Pokemon games. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and if you have any ideas or want to help improve my theories overall, go ahead, type it down in the comments and I might pick some of your best ideas and turn them into videos of my own. Of course, I will credit you guys in the video itself if I ever, if I ever decide to use one of your ideas. So yeah, type away in the comments below and I will be sure to see you next time. So, this has been Taken Adventures, signing off right now, peace out.